I live in a care home with an attached special school for young people with autism and PDA. Okay, is autism the same as PDA or PDA the same as autism or are they different? Yeah, or PDA is the same as autism in that it is on the autism spectrum and it technically is autism but it's just different traits of autism piled together to make it easier to explain to people that those are your traits of autism. So technically it is autism, but it's also its own diagnosis. Can you talk a little bit about um, the anxiety? Um, when, when do you feel most anxious? Um, I'd say I feel most anxious when I am being pressed to do something that I feel like I cannot do but the people around me don't understand what I mean when I say I can't do that because it seems such like such an easy thing they would be able to do it why can't I do it and they keep pressing me because it seems like it would be easy that that's when I feel the most anxious can you give an example of the sort of thing that you're talking about there um, for example, if I'm having a really, really difficult day and I have decided, well not decided, but I feel like I can leave the house, but only if I don't wear shoes. And someone says, well, you can't go out, you have to wear shoes. And I sort of go, well, I can't. It seems like I should be able to because I've worn shoes before, I know how to put shoes on. I can walk with shoes on. But there's still a part of me that's going, no, I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that. And it's that part of me that controls, it, that's, that's the person who's driving my brain at that moment. And that's so difficult to communicate, because I know it's stupid, I know that I should be able to put my shoes on, but at the same time, I can't, and I don't know why I can't, I just can't. And that's really difficult to deal with because it's difficult to explain to the people around you. It's difficult to come to terms with yourself because how do you know thing, something on one level but still be unable to comprehend it on another? It's such a juxtaposition that it's really hard. And that's why it's difficult for people to understand PDA because it feels like it should be something easy, but it's not. That must be very frustrating. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's the most, ex it's mo the most frustrating thing in the entire universe. The most frustrating thing is to have the functional capacity to understand what's happening and to understand that I should be able to do all of these things, but the functioning ability isn't there. I don't so I know I should be able to get out of bed and eat properly and drink properly. I know I should be able to make my own food. I know I should be able to wash every day and change my clothes every day. I know these things. I know how to do them. I can do them sometimes, but most of the time I can't. I just can't. And without, and it's so difficult to be able to voice why. It's the most frustrating thing. I like the idea that you said there's a control thing in your brain and I, I, I'm imagining inside Yeah, out. it's like inside out. If you have like, you know, 20 people at your control panel and one of them's like the special interests person and he's sitting there driving the car going, oh my god, I love this video game, ah, and like the person who's controlling your need to eat is sitting there going, Hi, I want to. Hello, and like the person who's driving is going. Ah, that's what it's like. <laughs> so it's a lot of it when your special interests take over. No, that's just one example. That's just one example. So it can also be like the the PDA person is driving the the, the, the demand avoidance person is driving, and he's sitting there going choo, 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 choo. and the food person is going. Hi, hi, and the PDA is going. Go away. So it's it's not just 
like when special interests come in, because that's another person who can drive. Like there are loads of different people who can drive a brain. <laughs> this is a really silly metaphor. Inside Out is a good film though. <laughs> and it's an excellent film. <laughs> and I think it's really helpful because it's actually about um, what, what emotion is taking over at a particular point, isn't it? Yeah, or what functional ability. What functional ability, yes. Yes, not necessarily emotional. So, at the point where you feel there's something that you... Um, so, so is it always things that you don't want to do that you have a problem with? Or is it sometimes things that you do want to do? No, I, I also struggle when it's something that I do want to do or should do. So if it's, it can, I can vary from struggling with getting myself a meal to going to the cinema to see a film that I want to see. Like there's no, there's no end to what thing I can struggle with because of how my autumn PDA affects me. I can struggle to go out with my friends because I feel like I should and therefore it starts the ball of oh my god I can't do this rolling in my head. Especially if I've been tired, the more things that I want to do, the less things I actually can do. So yeah, it, it can, and it's not always demands from other people as well. Like if I know I should be, you know, washing or changing my clothes every day, or if I know I'm meant to be going to school every day, that itself can be enough for my brain to start panicking because oh god, I'm meant to be doing this thing. Oh god, I can't do it. I can't do it. And and so it's it's like the worst form of self sabotage. <laughs> Well, it does start with avoidance, like most of the time, unless it's, if, if it's direct, if someone is sitting next to me and going, you have to do this, it comes straight out as panic. Like there's no gradual increase. I just will immediately start panicking. I will often immediately start crying. I can immediately have a panic attack. It it goes from I'm sort of being okay to crashing down a hill in like three seconds if someone is sitting there going, No, you have to do this now. But if it's if it's something that I'm meant to be doing, if it's I'm lying in bed and I'm thinking, God, okay, I have to get up and go to school Well, before I do that I have to check my iPad. I have to see what's happened today, I need to check the news and you know, I really need to do this level because you know, I do one every day and it counts how many days I've been doing so I have to do that today as well so I have to do that now and you know, I need to check I need to check my social media because you know, one of my friends might have gotten in contact with me so I need to do that and um oh, what has Donald Trump said today? He's always said something new let's just see what he said and you know, it starts very much as avoidance but not, I'm not thinking Oh, I want to avoid this. It's just natural. It's just okay. That's something that I need to do. I don't want to think about it. What else can I think about? So, but when I can, when it gets to the point where I can't really stop avoiding it anymore, like I can't, like there's nothing else to look at, and I need to go out of bed now. Then it gets to anxiety or even depression. Like it can, you know, it can. I can go from, whew okay, I got this, to, oh my god, I can't function, I'll never be able to function, I'm a worthless human being, I might as well just stay in bed forever. You know, it can, and that very much varies from day to day, which is why it's so frustrating, because some days I wake up and I can get straight out of bed and go to school, then other days I wake up and it's just not going to happen. And, and, you know, the more it doesn't happen, the harder it gets. Because then you're sort of sitting there going, oh, I've missed three days of school now. I need to go in today, which then makes it harder to go in because your brain's going, oh, it's a big thing. You have to go in now. Oh, God. 
So the more you don't go in, the harder it gets, which is why so many young people with PDA struggle going into school because, you know, lots of kids hate going into school. Lots of kids will try and miss a day of school, but with someone with PDA, they miss one day and the next day gets harder. It's not a respite. It's a... But then forcing kids with PDA to go into school when they're struggling can also have bad effects. So it's a really difficult one. I have lots more questions. Um, the video has been rolling for 12 minutes. I think maybe we should stop it rolling and think about editing and have use that as a practice.